up sauce gang and welcome back to the channel hot sauce beats are with a banger reaction for you because we're about to get our learn on from the one and only in a nutshell and they just dropped from the smallest to the largest the ultimate size comparison i don't even we're gonna be talking about like little little itty bitty you know molecules and stuff like that up to the the largest of largest humpback whales i don't know but i am hyped to get my learn on today it's educational sunday fam it's a great day to learn something new but before we do can you show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to their channel and fam we are less than 2k subs away from 100,000 subs and we're trying to get there before christmas so if you haven't yet please smash that subscribe button and join the sauce gang family but enough talking Let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Oh, it's time to get our education on chat. Uh. A three story building is about 10 meters tall, six times bigger than you. Oh, God, are we going to talk about meters? Six times smaller than you. I'm just a you stupid get American. Like a cute squirrel. About 27 I need and feet. small. So the building is just as big relative to you as you are to a squirrel. You're in the middle. It's easy to understand. In fact, you are in the middle of everything in the universe. Ooh. Let's go on a fantastical journey together to the small and the large and see if it's really true. Let's get our learn on, An bro. A320 is 37 meters long. The Rufus hummingbird is around seven centimeters. Both of these flyers are 23 times bigger or smaller than you, and both fly intercontinental distances. The tiny bird migrates between Alaska and Mexico. If the hummingbird were the same size as the jet, it would circle the Earth 85 times Whoa, 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 whoa! They travel that far? Just those little tiny hummingbirds, dude? Are you serious? Yeah. Dinopodera, the largest ant in the world, is about 55 times smaller than you. Squishy, squishy. Their small colonies have around 100 individuals, but no queens. Instead, they ruthlessly compete for status within the nest, which can reach 1.2 meters deep. Wow. If humans lived like Dinopodera, we'd be building towers of over 25 stories filled with offices and ruthlessly competing for status. And <laughs> wait. The deadliest and it's most annoying insect in the world is the mosquito, Mosquitoes. 235 yep. times smaller than you, while on the other end, the Empire State Building is about that much larger than you. Kind of unimaginable how something this small creates so much devastation for something that big. We're getting to the borders of human perception now. Bruh. Like coarse grains of sand about 3 millimeters, 550 times smaller than you. You can feel their shape and roughness between your fingers, and if you focus, see them individually. We mix them into concrete that can hold up the tallest towers ever built, like the 828-meter-tall Burj Khalifa Bro, that's 500 times larger that than That building. Uh, chat, I'm scared to death of heights. I can't even... I get anxiety just thinking about going to the top of that building, dude. If you were that tall, people would be as small to you as grains of sand in your hand. Hey, hey that rhymed. Be gentle. Anything smaller or bigger, and it becomes hard to grasp. A medium-sized city like Lisbon is about 6,000 times larger than yourself and permeated by a network of highways, roads, and alleys. On the other end, about 6,000 times smaller than you, are your small arteries permeating your whole body. Actually, you're in the middle between your network of blood vessels and the network of a city like Lisbon. If you think wow. of a city as a living being, you find more and more parallels. Okay. I see how you're breaking this down, bro. As small to the city as an arterial 0.1 millimeters wide is to you. Your tiniest capillaries are to you what the pipes bringing water to homes are to Lisbon. Going further, 100,000 times smaller than you, we reach a typical skin cell about 30 micrometers in diameter. A neutrophil is half as big, and one of your red blood cells is merely 7 micrometers. They are as small to you as you are to the entire Tokyo metropolitan area the largest urban area in the world spanning over 160 kilometers. You are so incredibly yes. big, filled with so much complexity, so many different moving parts. Or are you just a cell in the human civilization's superstructure? Are you ah, both? So you there too. Our steps are getting larger We're and larger We're just a cell, now. We're just a Germany cell. is around oh, 875 yeah, kilometers from north to south and the fourth biggest agricultural exporter in the world. 
Rhizobia is a nitrogen-fixing bacteria up to three micrometers long, and without it, that sort of agricultural production is impossible. So we have a country and a bacterium depending on each other, and you are in the middle, both being roughly 550,000 times larger or smaller than you. Dude, this is crazy how he's breaking Earth? this down. It's about 12,700 kilometers in diameter, about 7.7 .7 billion times larger than you. What's On the other small? side of the scale is Cornybacterium, as little as 0.3 micrometers across, living on your skin and eyes, along with 100 billion other bacteria, more than 10 <laughs> times more than there are humans <laughs> so on disgusting. Earth. Again, you're in the center, right in the middle of something so large that our civilization is a mere scratch on its surface, and something so small and numerous, you never notice its presence even as it touches you. Does that make you feel small or big? From here on out, your Ugh. brain is breaking it. Two things can be true at once. Two things can be true at once. Bet. Four times wider than Earth is Neptune, a cold blue gas giant 49,500 kilometers wide. The largest planet, though, is Jupiter, 140,000 kilometers And then the sun diameter. just can be like, a Titanic <laughs> abyss shrouded in terrible winds. You could drop Earth whole into its depths, and it would simply vanish. On the opposite scale, we find the deadly West Nile virus, 50 nanometers in diameter. Or one step down, the spike proteins on a coronavirus that open up cells for its RNA payload. They are as small to you as you are to the planet Jupiter. Wow. You are in the middle between gigantic planets and the world of viruses. These tiny things, so deadly. Let wow. that sink in. A tiny virus is taking over and killing lung cells up to 500 times larger than itself with the help of a tiny protein weapon. That's like you trying to kill a giant the size of the Burj Khalifa with a screwdriver. <laughs> but the real boss of the solar system is the sun. Yes. 10 times bigger than Jupiter, a billion times larger than you, controlling all the planets and source of all energy that drives life. A billion times smaller than you, clearly the boss of our body, is a DNA strand, DNA, containing baby. all the information making your life possible. You're right in the middle between the most important factors keeping everything alive. So From a DNA on, strand is 10 kind of times smaller than a virus. A billion is already too much, but now everything just seems to mean a lot. The supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A star, is 14.5 billion times bigger than you. Now we're getting into sizes that 15.5 billion times smaller than you. Yeah, well now we're getting yeah. into sizes okay, you just can't sure. comprehend. But the thing is, we're not even close to being done, and it's not impossible to get at least a sense of how these scale. The solar system is 22 trillion times larger than you. On the other <laughs> end of the scale is the wavelength of low-energy neutrinos released from fusion reactions in our sun. About 100 trillion of them are passing through you every single second, like ghosts a trillion times smaller than you, basically never hitting any of the particles inside you. If you moved through the solar system in a straight line, you probably wouldn't hit anything either. Although things are beginning to get really weird now. A single proton at the heart of the hydrogen atom is almost exactly one quadrillion times smaller than you. If the proton were as big as you, the hydrogen atoms would be taller than 12 Mount Everests. On the wow. other end, we meet something that just breaks human brains, the incredible vastness of space. We just have no reference for these distances at all. The distance to the closest star to Earth, Alpha Centauri, is not one quadrillion times in the other direction from the tiny proton, but 24 quadrillion. Space is just so large, it's kind of mean. And it goes on like this. A quintillion times smaller than you is the strange world of the quarks. The proton is not actually like a tiny ball, but kind of just a ripple on the surface of the ocean of quarks. Every moment. Dude, I'm, this is the first I'm ever hearing of a quark. A quark? A quark? What is a quark, dude? Maybe I was taught this and I forgot? I I think? I don't, I, I don't know what a quark is. A quark. It's fun to say, though. Say it with me, chat. A quark. Countless quarks pop into existence, quark. along with their antiparticle enemies, before doing furious battle and annihilating each other in an instant. How many? Impossible to say, because the harder you look for them, the more quarks seem to appear. We're simplifying so much, it's like a lie anyway. However we choose to illustrate this, it's wrong. 
What actually is a quark? What does it look like to human minds? Nobody knows. As you sit here confused, let's look up again. The ocean of quarks in a proton inside a single atom of a single cell of your body is as small to you as you are compared to a sphere around 174 light years across, containing about 16,000 stars. And this is just a tiny speck of dust to our galaxy. The Milky Way is close to one sextillion times larger than you. At the opposite end, we have particles a sextillion times smaller than yourself, like the wavelength of high-energy neutrinos released when cosmic rays hit our atmosphere. We're getting to the end. The observable universe is 93 billion light-years in diameter, close to a billion, billion, billion human lengths. But oh God, a billion, it's billion, still billion, finite. billion squared. It's only 465,000 Milky Ways side by side. If you were the size of our galaxy, the observable universe would only be a day's drive across. On the other end of that scale, we have the tiniest particle ever detected, a proton traveling so close to the speed of light, it got squished into a pancake. As small compared to you, Somebody as the pancakes. whole observable universe is big Somebody to you. Somebody say pancakes. We're at the border of things that we have evidence for. Are you truly in the middle of everything? The theoretical smallest physical distance is the Planck length, a hundred million times smaller than even the pancake proton. But we don't know if it's real, only that our theories of the universe break down here. Likewise, on the other end, does the bigness of the universe match the smallness of the Planck length? Well, actually, the universe could be considerably larger than that, but we will never know. Let's go back and look at the dimensions again. There are so many big things and so many small things wrapped up in them. Dude, this was the crazy, universe Chad. seems to be exactly the right size, with you in the middle. How do you try to get it exactly right, say, when you have to make a big choice, like buying a new mattress? Bro. You probably compare trustworthy reviews and test out a few models. All right. But what if you plan to spend... All right, let me, let me bring you in, chat. Let me bring you in. Holy cow, dude. How do you even comprehend that, man? Like, that is just so... It's just such mind-bending stuff that when you get to these certain sizes, like, you can't even... You can't even comprehend what they're talking about. I mean, you could comprehend when, you know, you're talking about, you know, the mosquitoes and then even down to kind of like the DNA, I, 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 I was still grasping it. Still hard to envision because obviously DNA is microscopic inside of us, but dude, some of that and trying to grasp space, space, it's just like you said, it's so vast. You just can't. But anyways, this was amazing. I love this channel chat. Thank you guys so much for everyone who ever recommended it. I love learning stuff like this. It's just amazing. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel. And again, chat, we're trying to get to 100,000 subs by Christmas. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button. Enjoy hiccups. I know I always get them on that show. Enjoy the sauce, gang, family. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And remember, it's easy sleeping, make beats, and as usual, be kind to one another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Kind of my love for the sauce, gang. Peace out, chat. Boom.